Let me share with you the three biggest mistakes in retirement planning from our perspective. So number one, it might be assuming that your advisor is working in your best interest. Uh, so, so you wanna consider who is it that the advisor works for? Are they working directly for you or are they potentially working for uh, the bank or brokerage house that, that they're affiliated with? So one thing at Centennial Wealth Advisory, we're set up as a registered investment advisory firm and, and we're set up as an independent firm. Uh, so we don't work for a company. Uh, we have that fiduciary responsibility ultimately uh, to work for our client's best interest. And, and also, how is your advisor paid? Is it something where uh, if you have money in the market, you know, they would make more money just as you would make more money and, and vice versa. They would uh, not make as much money when the, the account is not performing as well. Or, or is it one where perhaps they're paid a commission? Um, and, and that's not always a bad thing. Uh, it's one just to be aware of, of how are they paid and, and what are those costs? And then along with that, what are the different services that are ultimately being provided as you pay those different fees? So that's the leads into number two, not understanding maybe all the different facets of retirement. So I, I, my mind right away goes to the taxation on your different assets. Uh, when, when it comes to your income plan, where, where are you gonna draw the money from and what makes the most sense from a tax perspective as far as where you're gonna draw uh, income during your retirement years? A lot of times people make the mistake of pushing off all of their, their IRAs until the last account that they draw from and, and maybe they had some good years where they had lower taxes, but they may then have created a, a ticking tax time bomb. So uh, income planning, mapping out where you're gonna draw that money from and what the tax in, uh, implications are of that over time. And also estate planning, where are your assets gonna go uh, when you pass? So all those should be considered. And lastly, not structuring your portfolio, portfolio properly uh, to handle significant market downturns. So right away, I think of 2008 and, and how the market essentially dropped in half over a period of time there. And, and how did your portfolio respond to that? And maybe it's one where in, in today's environment, you can look back and sort of see based on the portfolio structure, how would your holdings uh, or current investment strategies handle the 2008? And that's one where, again, it comes back to what's your comfort level with risk and how that may change over time. So you might be getting close to retirement and you might start considering, maybe I need to transition some of these assets that have been heavier risk to maybe a little bit less risky. So those are things to take into consideration. So if you have questions on this, feel free to give us a call.